Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to downgrade Windows 11 Professional to Windows 11 Home Edition. In just a moment. Hey, quick reminder folks, remember to hit that thumbs up as it helps others find quality content and allows us to continue to make videos like this for you. Click on subscribe and then hit the bell so you get notified anytime we add new content. Okay everyone, so a couple years ago, I did a video on downgrading Windows 10 Professional to Windows 10 Home Edition. And so now with the arrival of Windows 11, there's probably going to be a lot of you that need to do the same thing with Windows 11. So in this video, we're going to show you how to complete this process with Windows 11. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings and I'm going to show you that I'm running Windows 11 Pro. We can see the specs of the system here. We have Windows 11 Pro. This is the 22H2, which is the latest version at the time of this recording. Now there's gonna be a couple steps to this process. First thing we're gonna to need to do is retrieve the installation media from Microsoft. Now with Windows 10, the only way to get the ISO file, which is the CD image, was to download the media creation tool. With Windows 11, thankfully, Microsoft allows you to download the ISO directly from their website. So we're just gonna type in Windows 11 download. If I can spell it. And we're gonna click here. And we'll put the links in the description of this video. And we want to download the Windows 11 disk image or ISO file. So we're going to select the multi edition ISO. We're going to say download. Then we're going to choose the product language. In our case, it's English United States. We're going to confirm that selection. And finally, we're going to download the 64 bit edition. And we're gonna say save as. And I'm just gonna create a folder on my C drive called tech. You can really save this anywhere, doesn't matter. And we're gonna say save. Now this is a fairly large file, it's 5.2 gigabytes. So depending on the speed of your internet connection, it may take a while to download this file. So I'm gonna break here and I'll pick back up with you once I have it downloaded. Okay everyone, so I'm back and the download is completed. So I'm just gonna open up my file explorer and I'm going to, you see I have the recent here, but I'm going to go to the location where I downloaded it and I'm going to right click, I'm gonna left click mount. And what this is gonna do is mount it as a virtual DVD drive and allow me to run the setup. So we're not gonna run setup yet, First thing we need to do is edit the registry so that when we run the Windows setup, it installs the home edition and not the professional edition. I'm going to close this. We're going to click on the magnifying glass and I'm going to type in reg edit. Again, I need to learn how to spell. And I'm going to click here where it says run as administrator. I'm going to say yes to the user account control prompt. And in my registry, I'm just going to expand this so it takes the whole screen up. I'm going to click on HK local machine, software, Microsoft. We're going to go all the way down here to Windows NT and current version. And there's two areas that I'm going to modify here. First area is going to be the product name. Right now it says Windows 10 Pro. I'll double click this and I'm going to change Pro to Home. Let's say OK. And the edition ID says Professional. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to change that to Core. It's interesting how even with Windows 11, the product name is still the same at Windows 10. I think that's kind of interesting. But in any event, I'm going to close the registry. 
Now after I've made my registry modifications, I'm ready to run the Windows setup. There's one thing you're going to want to pay close attention to, however, and that is the addition of Windows that's displayed when you run the setup. Make sure it says Windows 10 Home. If it says Windows 10 Pro, you'll need to go back into the registry and edit those values again. So we're going to go ahead and run the setup. And we're going to change how it downloads updates. We're not going to download any updates right now. And we're going to choose not to help make the installation better. We're going to say next. We're going to accept the terms of the license agreement. And at this point, we're ready to install. Now, as we can see here, we're going to be installing Windows 11 Home Edition. And most importantly, we're going to keep all of our personal files and apps. So this is basically going to do an upgrade, except that it's not an upgrade, it's a downgrade going from Windows 11 Pro to Windows 11 Home. So we're just going to go ahead and click install at this point. And Windows 11 Home Edition will install and you'll need to reboot. So I'm going to let it go through this process. We'll break here. And when I come back, we should have Windows 11 Home fully installed. Okay, everyone. So welcome back. And the install completed successfully. We've gone ahead and logged in. And if I go into my settings here. And I go into About Device. We can see that I now have Windows 11 Home, and this is the same machine. All of my settings remain the same, as well as any apps that I had installed. And any data that I had stored on the device is unaffected as well. So this is a great solution to be able to move from professional to home edition without losing any of your data and apps. Have any of you done the downgrade from Windows 11 Pro to Windows 10 Home Edition? If so, let us know how it worked out down in the comments section below. I'll put any links and other information down in the video description. As always folks, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thanks for watching.